welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa. So today's video we are going to be doing an October favorites, which I'm super stoked about and super excited. I didn't do one last month because a lot of the stuff that I was enjoying in August kind of trickled into September. So I figured that I'd just wait and try some new things and see what I was enjoying for this month. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be starting with, I think I'm gonna start with beauty and then work my way to all the other random bits. So the first beauty item I'm gonna be showing you is a Lush product. I love Lush. Everything about Lush is just amazing and beautiful and you walk into that store and it just smells like magic. So I was in, I was in need of a new shampoo. My old Lush shampoo just wasn't doing it for me. My hair was getting greasy and it was just hot, hot mess. But this little tub, Jersey Bounce, this stuff is amazing. It's got little, it gives your hair a bounce and shine with our honey and linseed and sea salt shampoo. The feeling of salt, <laughs> of sea salt when you're washing your hair is a little bit odd but my hair feels so soft and it just looked healthier and just it just had like life to it and like nice volume because like I have a lot of hair and I want volume but I don't want like poof ball. So this gave me like a nice medium volume and I absolutely love it and it smells, it smells so good. And the next item is actually a conditioner, which plays a conditioner that I've been doing for a lot longer, but I'd run out of it and then I bought it again and then all October with like Jersey Bounce and this stuff, I was just like, oh, my hair just feels amazing. It feels incredible. I use the Happy Happy Joy Joy and it's a vegan conditioner and it has orange flower absolute and almond milk. That's pretty much what I think it has in it. But this stuff is amazing. It's not like your normal conditioner because like normal conditioners, like you, you feel it like it's a little thick and it feels, I don't know, like conditioner. This stuff is actually a little bit watery, a little weird, but it just, your hair just smells so, so good. Like the amount of compliments I get when I wash my hair with this and the other stuff is, is amazing. Like I love this stuff. Everybody will be telling you like, oh my God, your hair smells amazing. Like what do you smell of? That's how good this stuff is. But give it a chance. I promise you'll love it. The next thing, I'm just gonna go through the Lush products and then we'll get onto the other beauty products. The next thing is relatively new. It's actually kind of like the end of October that I started loving this, but it was October nonetheless. It's the Berry Berry Christmas Shower Gel. <laughs> yes, I know, it's a Christmas scent. It's a little early for Christmas, but oh my God, it smells so good. It's festive cranberry infused antioxidant blueberry juice and succulent fruity lathers. It is, oh my God. It's so, so nice. It like lathers your body and you just smell like a citrusy Christmas magic. Like I, I love it. My whole bathroom smells of it. It's great. Definitely a favorite of mine. So she gets that. It is awesome. And the next Lush product, it is Cup O Coffee. <laughs> um, is cup o coffee if you're prone to spots like i am some days i have like really aggressive like acne that is just awful and this definitely like soothes my skin definitely gives my face like big like whoosh. it's incredible it's caffeine packed ground coffee helps scrub away dirt dirt and dirty skin gives skin a boost. But it is very good for when you're having like a not so good skin month. But this stuff is great. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. An agave syrup. There's a word in there that I can't pronounce and I'm not gonna try to butcher it. But <laughs> this stuff is great. It looks really funny. It literally looks like a tub of dirt. Or like mashed up, mashed up coffee. Ooh. That is definitely caffeinated. That's like espresso. And moving on to the next beauty products. It is actually a set that goes together. 
but it is the Mario Biscu Acne Set. Like I said, I have really bad skin, like my skin's crap. And some days my skin is like clear and beautiful and it's glowing and it's just like, ugh. And then other days or other weeks, it's like horrific. It's like painful spots and just awful. But this stuff, I've been using it almost the entire month of October and I can definitely say that my skin looks so much better. It's the Acne Facial Cleanser that comes with the set. And then it is the Special Cucumber Lotion, which is a, like a toner. And then the uh, Oil Free Moisturizer. And then it also comes with a drying mask. And every time I do my whole nightly skin routine with this, I definitely feel like the cleanser does feel a little chemically. I don't like chemically stuff, so I'm not sure how you like it, but I can feel it. Like my face tingles and it feels like it's doing something. Like it is attacking my pores and it's like, let's rip this stuff out of your face. You're gonna look great. And it's amazing. So the mask is great, you know, for those days nice so you just wanna like pamper yourself, you did your skin treatment, throw on your mask, and you're just like lying there reading a book. It's great. I love it. It's amazing. And the next thing, a little bit more random, is food items. I love food. Food is great. It's amazing. Everybody should love food. People who don't, I don't understand you. I don't know how you live. The first thing is actually a yogurt. It's the Ziggy's Icelandic style cream yogurt. I love this stuff. The first time I tried it, it kind of threw me off because it's not like traditional yogurt. It's not super, super sweet. It's kind of got like a tangy taste to it. But like the more I ate it, like the more I loved it. And I started off like really simple with like vanilla flavor. And now, and I don't like yogurts with like fruit flavors. Every yogurt I've ever tasted, I'm like, Ugh, I don't like it, it's gross. I don't want anything to do with it. But these yogurts, I love the ones that have fruits. This one is a strawberry and rhubarb and it's great. Now it's like all natural. There's like no gelatin, no preservatives, no high fuse cordial. It's very like the most natural yogurt you can think of, which is why I think it doesn't taste like traditional yogurt. Um, but I do absolutely, absolutely love it. It is my fave. And in the morning, I usually have this with like some granola and honey. And it's amazing. So these are good. The next thing, now my friends and my husband think I'm crazy. I don't understand why I like these so much, but I love like crackers, cookie type things. I was in the international food section because I love that, <laughs> that aisle. And I stumbled upon little digestive cookies. Well, they're biscuits. These are actually dark chocolate and they're so good. Oh my God. They're so good. Like I can't even not, mm, not take a bite of this. <laughs> but it's so good. Like I don't, I don't understand why I like them so much. They're not, there's not much to them. They're relatively plain, but they're just a wheat cookie with chocolate on them, which I'm gonna put down now so I can finish. <laughs> and I actually have, I actually have the camembert or the camembert? No, camembert's cheese. Canterbury digestives, which is another chocolate, like the little Canterbury Easter eggs, the little cream eggs, which are just also amazing, but these are UK biscuits and they are so good. I have like two bags. I'm almost done the Canterbury ones and I'm moving on to the dark chocolate ones because they are so good. I don't know, they're just delicious. They're so good. I'm obsessed. Enough raving about food. <laughs> the next item is a candle. I showed this in my fall essentials and it is a Bath and Body Works flannel. It is definitely a muskier scent, but for the whole of October, because it has been getting super cold, like so cold. For a hot second, I was like, oh, I don't know if my Florida butt can handle this Michigan coldness, but it's really not that bad. But the entire whole of October, I've been lighting this candle because it's been getting cold and cozy. And I'm just like, ooh. 
and candles are just everything, especially Bath and Body Works candles. They're super good. So the next thing is a clothing item. It is a massive leather jacket with a fur inside and it's got like fur on the cuffs and fur on the collar and it's got these little like strappy things you can like bundle yourself up so much i've been grabbing for this jacket every single day like i go and i drop my husband off at the station because we only have one car and this is the jacket that i grabbed for and it is so warm like, funny story about this jacket. I went to go check the mail one morning and locked myself out of my house. I don't know how I managed to do this. I have no idea. And it was actually, I think it was like two weeks ago I locked my, that I locked myself out. And I was wearing this jacket <laughs> when I locked myself out of the house. And I was so happy that I had this on me because I was like, it was 46 degrees outside and it was raining. Now. I don't know if any of you know, but like cold and rain are just the worst combination of life. It's not great, it's not good, it's horrible, it's awful. I was miserable. I was outside of my house for 20 minutes in the cold, but I wasn't as cold as I potentially could have been if I didn't have this jacket. I was not prepared to be outside in the cold. But yeah, love this jacket. It's from Zara and it's actually kind of a dupe for the, the Acme leather jacket, but their jacket is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So could not afford that. But this one was way better price which I can't remember, but it was like $100 versus hundreds of dollars. So I'll take it. And the last thing on my October favorites is definitely random, is definitely different. It's a game. It's the Harry Potter game. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Obsessed with Harry Potter. And my husband got me a Harry Potter game. Me and him have played this several, several times. We actually played this on Halloween with another couple from the station. And it is a super fun game. It is a deck stacking game, which it basically means you start off with a deck of cards with your little hero, and then you get to buy other cards to add to your deck to make yourself stronger. The reason why this isn't my favorites, not only because it's Harry Potter, but because I don't like games. I'm not a fan of games. I hate playing Monopoly, I hate playing Risk. I get so bored. Like, I just, I don't like it. Like, I feel like there's only so much attention I can put to playing towards a game. And this game actually like keeps my interest. So I actually really do enjoy playing this game. And the fact that I can be Harry Potter, Ron, Neville, or Hermione just, you know, makes it all that much better. <laughs> So that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be actually back on Wednesday this time around because I'm super excited for the video that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys on Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll be here absolutely every single Saturday and sometimes on Wednesdays. And as always, I love you guys very, very much. Until next time, bye.